sweep. And I could not be more happy we get to do some more games together, Cubby. Here we are. Same here. Uh, and last game, I just, I really just like put this out to the Twitch chat. If anyone can like just take a picture of Lee Sin, just scrunch it and widen it and put like the wide, wide people music over it, you know, it'd be, just... it'd be wide lipo. Yeah, wide lipo. Uh, Xu just <laughs> asserting dominance on the entire game, first picking Lee Sin <laughs> and styling. Uh, I gotta say, I, I respect it. And I think that non Academy team, they, they have to respect it a little bit too, as the comfort picks coming on through. Did some work as they're banning away Zillion from Tempos and banning away Renekton from Doe Club. Yeah, turns out the Zillion theme of reviving back from the dead continues on even when his ultimate isn't available, Cubby is. Even after Ooh. Tempos did get killed for well, first blood. Graves. Pick a Kali. Yep. yep. They, they banned Graves Planet. and they're picking a Kali. All right, Galio's up. What uh, I like teams to do here is you take... Oh, never mind. All right, we're just going to slam <laughs> run in the back. Wow, that we is. We are. Okay. I was gonna say like I, pick Galio, already... control the Akali. We're just going straight comfort again. Okay, so here's the thing, Cubby. If if I'm Speedo after that last game, I want the Yone again because that just was a complete stomp. And if you have that momentum, if you just com continue to solo kill your lane opponent over and over and over and over and over again, why not give him that champion back, Cubby? I want to see some more Yone action from Speedo. This is true. Uh, it was really good. Got a lot of help from XU. Uh, but Shrimps, I, I have to believe that Shrimps might be able to play this one as well. And yeah. with these early comfort picks coming on through, letting Akali up, it does mean that you get to give a lot of good options over to Not Academy team as Max, we're, we're seeing a Hecarim uh, this time around. Paired up with Galio. Very scary engage coming on through, looking to get into the back line. And Wixie's got to be careful with whatever 80 carry he picks because it's a lot of threat he's got to face already. Winston was four-legged in game three. He intends to keep it that way, Cubby, on the Hecarim. And increasing I don't the know. model a little bit, though. Yeah, dear you're... Opponent. This, this is an animal that would probably sell for even more than killing a Lilia. So that's something that Cloud9 I'm glad we're back sure. here already. I, I thought we were just there because <laughs> the game was lost. But we're, we're, we're going right back to, to the, the market of Summer's Rift as uh, you made a good Syndra. Point. High priority being taken off the market. Uh, also, Yasuo. Uh, it's going to be a Yone show this time around. No counters coming in there. Uh, and with Yone being hard committed into the top lane, I mean, Camille's up. That's it, It's an option for an answer still. Uh, you could also just have the Kennen for Dokla, just something that you can control the Yone with. Uh, it's still an option as well. So, curious to see what kind of option they bring to the table, because I don't think Ghost Renekton is it. I don't want to see he that ever again. could also be on this Akali company. As the Galia's That's already locked true. in, Vaka go mid, and they That's can send that true. up to the top. So we've yet to see where these champions are going to be going. But we do know that Captain Shrimps is on his twisted fate yet again. Uh, and that was what he played in game two. To some middling success, they couldn't quite get their feet off the ground in that early game. And like we highlighted in that particular draft, they had the window of level six to level nine to really do it. Couldn't quite land it did fall apart, and that was one of the more one-sided games for Not Academy in the entire tournament. So we're going to look to see if perhaps with the Lee Sin for XU, he can get that snowball rolling a lot earlier on. But the Lulu is going to be bolstering that a bit, likely for Tempos, and the Wukong is actually the pick for Doklo. They're going to be that Galio support as... Wukong and Yone, uh, you, you can make some nice plays with the clone to, to try and get an outplay down. But uh, I, the Lulu pick, I was curious to see if they, I was going to tease if like they were going to flex the Yone bot, but you cannot do that against Galio. What a bit too much control yeah. coming on through there. So going to be the Kai'Sa for Wixie. Uh, some mobility is an option for the Kai'Sa, able to dodge out on one or two of the engages as looking over at non Academy team. This team wants to go all in. They want to dive your face. They want the fight to end right there. Both teams really want that to happen here, Cubby. It's really just Lulu that is going to be left out to dry in these situations where everyone's just completely diving. If, if every finger is a champion, it just goes like this. But then Lulu's left like way over here. So it's just like everyone's like, Lulu, and then Lulu's like, I guess it'd be the other way. So, Lulu, picks, um, uh, taste like purple. I don't know what's going on in your camera, but um, <laughs> that's awesome. That's uh, whatever, whatever, whatever we're trying Great to do. Great work, there. bud. <laughs> Good job, Smacks. As Lulu, it it is, uh. it does give a few solutions for the Hecarim, right? You can cancel 
um, his charge up dash with your ultimate or with polymorph. Uh, polymorph obviously being one of the stronger abilities in the game in terms of dealing with divers. So we have to see if that is something that Cloud9 Academy or Amateur can deal with as going up against not Academy team. They're going to have to find those solutions. And I have a feeling that we're not going to see as many deaths from Dokla this game. And the mm -hmm. TP signifies that. Going to fall a little bit less behind in that top lane. Yeah, the the names of these two teams are going to give us trouble to the bitter end, but that's where we very well could be, Cubby. The bitter end of this series is not Academy team are looking to take their third and final victory, but if Cloud9 Amateur can bounce back yet again, we will be getting the Silver Scrapes, we will be getting Game 5, and we will be getting the maximum number of games that we possibly could be broadcasting on the day. So if that happens, then... Man, we were just destined to have the entire day occupied. No bachelor for me. I cannot say the same for myself, but uh, <laughs> you weren't gonna watch the Bachelor either way. I no, sorry, not uh, not this season. Um, I was a big oh, Tower okay. C fan though. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. See, right. got references flying on through as uh, Xu gonna try and. Commits his lanes just like he did in the last one, and I expect for him to get topside as fast as possible on the Sui Sin, given the fact Speedo has that volatile matchup once again, taking the Yone in the top lane. Meanwhile, Hecarim can get invaded on by the Lee Sin. It's, it's a pretty dicey matchup around level 6, but if Hecarim's able to get that tempo going, does outscale Lee Sin pretty hard. Uh, so I expect Winston to be on the back foot here once again, and XU did a fantastic job of interacting with his lanes in the last game on this pick, so we're going to have to see if he can run it back. Yeah, uh, Cubby, one thing to note is that this is the, this is by far the tamest level one that we've had from the junglers. Not seeing any early level one attempts on the, on the buff. We're not seeing any vertical jungling, at least not yet. And they're both just going to be starting on their blue buff and farming from there, which again leads to your point that XU does just have a lot of leeway in this early game to do whatever he wants. And he did that expertly well in game number three. So that spells very good things for Cloud9 fans today. Going for the full clear, looks like he wants to get level four before he hits the map. One thing that's going to uh, be, you know, a bit of a struggle for this Lee Sin is the fact that. Uh, his bot lane is going to be pushed in for the entirety of the game. This is the power of laning MF, especially when you go with this build with the Comet. Uh, the poke in lane is just devastating. As I uh, say that he wants to wait until level 4 to gank. He's already looking mid here at level 3, seeing if he can catch Tuesday a little bit off guard. Wow. I'm surprised that he was able to do this because it was warded in that in that pixel brush on the bottom side of the map to prepare Tuesday for this. But I say that and he only walked away with about 200, 300 health missing. Still his flash intact, so certainly not the end of the world for this Akalian lane. And as this is a champion that's been banned away nearly every single game, trying to, trying to get her down in the early game is a valiant thing to do, but not going to happen on that gig. It should give Lee Sin access, though, to the top crab as Shrimps has gifted priority in mid lane, stacking up the slow push and crashing it here. Uh, so Lee Sin still getting off to a pretty decent start. Is down two camps, though. Hecarim has already cleared that bot side. This is what hmm. we talked about with the tempo for Winston. He is looking to out-farm this matchup. It's not going to be the ones interacting with his lanes early. That's going to be the Lee Sin. So keep your eyes on Axie to see if he can keep on making these plays to make something happen. As Dokla is TPing back, TPing back to this lane. It, it's a big wave, and it... He has to drop his trinket to make sure that he is safe, because this is an area that we Sin could look in. Yeah, we haven't taken too close a look oh, we at this top it. lane so far, but Speedo That's was cool. able to get an early recall off. Uh, did get an extra Doran's Blade, and now Xu is here. Speedo has the Q3. They're walking towards him. Dokla sniffing this one out, does use the clone to get away from that one. Sonic Wave not even going to be attempted. Dokla walks away. You see Hakram coming up here, hovering as well. I think he's got to help uh, Wukong possibly push this one through as Winston is spotted on this ward and uh, potentially looking to make a play of his own. Speedo just going to dash onto the turret. Has access to plenty of those in his kit's arsenal. So going to use that very effectively. But again, Winston is stronger than Leeson right now. Has already recalled once. Has an entire Kindle gem to show for it. And trades across two uh, he fronts loses right this, now. Though. 
XU Winston's does have his Q up again. If he lands this, this is bad news. Flash forward yeah. for Captain Trim's Winston. Just going to die where he stands. XU stalls out beautifully for Captain Trim's to arrive. Winston needed to get out of there. And that's, that's a little bit of a lack of communication coming in from Tuesday. Because Captain Trim's, mm. he abandoned that wave. He said, I'm going to go help out my jungler. I don't think it was communicated properly. And Winston kind of got um, stuck with his pants down on the Hecarim in the jungle. Going to take down. Bit of an error from him as that kill yeah. gets it over to the least sin. Exactly what X you wanted to see, continuing to try and impact his wins. It's again happening. We saw similar things in game three, and we saw Cloud9 win game three, Cubby. So this is this is excellent news if you want to see a game five, and I personally do. I know we were we were hearing that the, the desk was getting a little little tired there. They've been hard at work for a about 10 hours so far, so shout out to those guys. But they, wah, they, can, they can do more. We're fine. <laughs> We've been we, there before. <laughs> We've That's been through spot. worse. Yeah. We've been on the desk before. We know how it is. You didn't have Stop. to play League Dating Sim. That's, that's, that's what I'll say. <laughs> yeah, I think you mean they didn't get to play League Dating Sim. That's true. That was, that was one of the best broadcast moments of our generation. I've never heard TJ so excited than, wait a minute, Thresh calls you daddy? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's... Can, we, can you run that TJ impression by me one more time? No, I, I'm not going to do the accent. We need we need Niberia here for the impressions. We'll, we'll leave those to him. <laughs> yeah, if program. you guys ever find yourself in a in a call with Niberia, ask him about Kermit the Frog because, <laughs> man, it's, it's pretty beautiful, but... We're just going to be seeing a brawl around this dragon right now, Dead Cubby. Six. Most people are level 4 right now. That's a two-man taunt. The exhaust onto Captain Shrimps as well. He's level 6, but he doesn't necessarily help in this fight. Not at all, in fact. Winston now level 6 here, too. Running down Wixie. Wixie still has the cleanse, but that doesn't help you from the charging horse. Another kill for not an academy team. The dragon is theirs for the taking. Disaster strikes for C9 Amateur as they get caught out in the river and Tuesday he has six a six Zazel knows this he's gonna find the engage and they have the numbers right Wixie he can't join the fight he's isolated and this engage coming on down the double taunt polymorph can't land tempo splashes isn't able to get it down look at all this damage that Tuesday puts down with double six with that ultimate shrimps melts even birds of twisted fade off that's a big cooldown that is not on the side of C9 either so Gives control of the map over to not Academy team for the next few minutes before they can get that ultimate back and try and make a play again. That's a fight that could have gone very differently there too, Cubby, as Winston hit level 6 off of the Captain Shrimp's death. Then he was able to continue that play with the Unstoppable Onslaught there. So, Or the Onslaught of Shadows, rather. Uh, Unstoppable Onslaught is something else. Uh, that's Scion! Ah! I know my trivia. But, Good job. yeah, Winston... Winston hitting level 6 is super crucial there. They don't actually get the dragon. They instead take the blue buff and go about their merry way buying some items. But they definitely have that in their grasp if they choose to go down there again. Especially now that Captain Trimps does not have access to desk. NA supports, take note. Look what, uh, look what Zazel's doing here. There he is. Flash away from Speedo, but nothing's going to come of that one. Winston picks that one up, and that's a second kill for the Centaur. That rope timing, it's not for Speedo, it's for the Rift Tail. Speedo just gives a gift on top of it. Zazel, he was doing this in the early series. It's what I look for from supports. Apollo, he's fine. This is a support Lulu. He does not care about this. There's no way he's going to go down. Take like a chip damage. The wave's not in a great spot. Who cares? They get Rift Herald, a bunch of gold over to the rest of their team. It's a very positive play on the map for non-academy team. And Zazel with a really good job using the pressure of the temple that they have to make another play out of it as well. Yeah, and Cubby, you're, you're saying that Apollo's fine, and he is, of course, but a lot of that is because not only is Zazel able to make these plays across the just, map, but he can just ult by next doing wave that, too. Yeah, Apollo has ult. Yeah. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. He's level 6. Meanwhile, Wixie and Tempos are level 5 because the solo experience is here for Apollo. He's able to get this extra power boost toward him. Now, it does mean that they lose out on this dragon that they could have had earlier, but they're definitely better off for it with that kill on the top side, with that Rift Herald, and a safe AD carry to boot. They don't care about that dragon right now, right? Because they, they know that the 1-3-1 team, they want gold on Yone. That's what makes it work, right? So the fact that they're taking the Rift Herald, they're going to try and get Dokla ahead, most likely, and get a better setup for them. They, they're okay giving that dragon. They can pick those up later as the game goes on. Look at this buy from Dokla here, too. He's got the Executioner's Calling. He knows that last game Speedo went for the Lifesteal variant of the Yone build. So 
Oh, wait, oh. that's interesting. It stops the dash for yep. Tuesday. He's in the shroud, though. Has access to the second portion of Perfect Execution. The card comes through. He's burning. He's burning. But I believe he lives. Tuesday makes it out with his flash again. What a whir whirly bird for a gold card. Woo! <laughs> that's what Hecarim said. Could you imagine if Hecarim said that every time he queued? Uh, like that April, would be April almost Fool's as annoying as Korean the Sandra. <laughs> Cubby, have you ever played? You ever played Police Volley Bear and Earth? No, is it is it rough? Just wee 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 at all times. <laughs> wee 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 wee. It never stops. Oh, it's the same thing with uh, with Corky E. It actually has no downtime, so you just hear the it's the whirring. Favorite, constantly. One of my favorite spectator bugs too. The the Corky bug uh, with Gatling gun, where it just runs for the yeah. entirety of the broadcast. <laughs> It's almost as good as how Pulse Fire Ezreal just does not have abilities that you can see while spectating. <laughs> it's really been that way for drunk. years. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's, uh, no, one, no one notices. You can't see it, right? Uh, Cubby, I, I don't know what we're expecting. They still only have four spectator slots. Meanwhile, Valorant has, oh, what, God. 20? No. Oh, really? There were... That's not fair. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this game paid for Valorant. Why can't we have more? Cubby, you're preaching to the choir here. Oh, it's God. uh it's it's a rough life out here for league spectators, you know. Uh give your give your fellow fellow league broadcaster a pat on the back, tell them you're sorry, and um subscribe to their Patreon, I don't know. Uh speaking of Valorant, there's a banger tournament going on over at uh, Nerd Street with Simo and Bach. That's that's a good Ooh. plug right there for our good old partners. They didn't have that ad read down smacks. There you go. I I did rush. I, I talked about them a little bit. Um, that's good. By the way, shout out to New Nerd Street Gamers for helping us out with this event, by the way. Really cool guys. Uh, Cubby's done some events over there for yep. them. I haven't, because um, Cubby is, in fact, cooler than me. But uh, maybe one day I will I will uh, be able to be on their broadcast. I don't know. No, yeah, I don't want to get this very, into very, a sob very, story for me. No, very, very <laughs> fun to work with. And uh, glad they're helping out with uh, the prize pool on this one, throwing their name on it, yeah. too. Uh, fun to partner up with them as... Eh, getting more back to the game. Um, it's it's interesting how Zazel leaves bot lane and Apollo's up 40 CS. I, I don't exactly know how that one happened, but mm. uh, that's that's where we're at. Cubby, could it be that Apollo is an LCS caliber AD carry that for some reason was not signed to a team and is now playing for us to cast? Uh, I mean, I'm not complaining about it. Uh, Apollo's a really <laughs> cool guy, too. We got, saw, we got to be yeah. on the desk with him for Immortals University Showdown. Uh, very friendly. You can see why uh, his good reputation. Uh, as that was knocking down turrets, uh, this rift herald should take down the mid turret as well. So Winston's going to throw Shelly on down, living to fulfill her purpose. Take yeah, while we're in while we're in shout out mode, uh, shout out to Apollo again for letting me cast his pentakill. Meanwhile, top lane, his top laner is dead. Uh, Dokla, new brand of shoes this game, but. Uh, we do expect this, right, with the, the Twisted Fate coming on down and the, the solo lane focus for Speedo. Um, and overall, I'd say even though Dokla does fall, a lot more gain for his team with that play. Yeah, getting a, a second Rift Herald charge even right there. Full plates intact in the mid lane, mind you, as they yeah, attempt to get some more bot lane. Dive. Yeah, the, the yep. TF does not have the tools to follow up on this one, so if they... One they could go for, but it is spotted out by some nice ward coverage in the river here for the side of C9. Now for C9, I, I'm actually pretty surprised. Now that the mid tower uh, has fallen, I would almost rather see Kaisa in the mid lane. Just give her mm. that free farm, give her access to two camps, try and get uh, Twisted Fate in one of those side lanes and try to 1-3-1, because there's no way you can contest these dragons with Misfortune at this point in the game, having these items and having this power. Just try and farm up three lanes, catch up in gold that way. Kind of like how, uh, like, Whatnot and Academy did team did in game one. Yeah, Kavi, we, we do have to caution that a bit because then you're not really giving Lee Sin the best, the best gank assist. But it hasn't really worked out in the mid lane against this Akali anyway. Tuesday's really been able to shrug off all of those ganks in this game. And you can see that he's he's been focused more and more on that aspect of his laning as the game has gone on. He's He's been sort of just left to his own devices in that regard, especially earlier on against the, the Lulu. This time he's against Twisted Fate, so he can do a bit more, but still, has as just been holding down the fort and doing a great job of it this time, just making sure that he's not getting too far ahead. 
Zazel is slamming into the ground more than hovering there, Cubby, but Speedo and XU are already all the way over there. Speedo's up two levels uh, and has quietly been going about his business as Apollo is throwing down that bullet time to clear out the wave. The power of misfortune shining through. Tuesday's still looking for this one. Zazel, can they find the play? Ooh, Winston's here too. He's a very fast horse. There oh, goes Speedo. Speedo under the turret. Does not land his ulti onto anyone. Ooh. Just going to use that to escape. But I don't think Ooh. his teammates are too lucky right now, Cubby. Captain Tuesday Trips. flash and emote. He has ults. He's okay. out. I'm going to see some emote flashes there from Tuesday. Like, where's the sad beat? You know, you don't pick up that kill? Well, where, where, where's that coming on through? Oh, I'm here for the emote game, Smacks. Yeah, it's been Speaking a surprising of lack of emotes. Um, uh, this is a cute escape attempt from Speedo, but Tuesday has a lot of mobility too. Yeah, I am not a fan of using your E to try to escape on Yone. Uh, personally, it ends up with most most of the time you end up feeling very sad about, about yourself. You're like, oh, I gotta go right back over there. He tried to the use the nice. R. Yeah, but uh, Akali, unfortunately, a triple jump champion in League of Legends, hop, skip, and jump through that shroud, and picks up the kill. <laughs> I feel yep. like if that was like an Olympic a sport on the Rift, she would definitely win that one, by the way. Uh, if you have four legs, you're disabled from uh, participating in that, by the way, because you can't really skip as Hecarim. You can skip as Lilia. She's got four legs. She, like, prances around all the time. Max is just better at lore than me. I guess that's it. <laughs> is that lore? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> Never wrong. Remember that? Game one. Recall. Well, I've got yeah. I've got some Freljordian lore for you, Cubby. Um, does it have to do with Everfrost? The... It does. How Ooh. did you know? Because I saw the item and I know you very well. So let's hear it. Well, great. Uh, Everfrost is from Freljord, and Captain Trim bought it, and it's cool. <laughs> what more? You're gonna have to ask our our fellow lore expert Hypertension for more on that. Um, okay. He is. Uh, he said the, the big... tier was back, by the way. Oh really? Yes, he did. It was it was in a tweet. So check uh, League subreddit. That all right? That somehow always hits front page. Don't ask me why. It, it's it's cool. Like he's it, good at writing it. But I I just I'm not in the lore stuff. Sorry. Well, I'm in a good well, game Cubby. Place. Instead of reading the entire novels worth of champion like information and stuff, I would much rather instead just read a Reddit post uh, uh, because Tuesday. you know that's just that's just who I am. Tuesday's flashing away though. Not in the Shroud. Dokla attempting to make a return play onto Captain Shrimps, but ducking away from that one. He's got the bigger fish dead. to fry. He's in the turret. Uh, Wheat Dominance coming out from Not Academy Team. I keep on wanting to say Not in Academy oh. Team. Uh, someone tell him that the team's like not proper English. <laughs> you, you could still be oh. NA Team, not with, with an N. We just wouldn't count it. Oh, nice Gale Force, the Blast Cone. I like that. It, they're, they're still Tempos, really dead, but that was a cute They're one. very dead. Yeah, Tempos they're super and Whiskey dead. Are, are running... Wixie are oh. running to their, their okay. big brother, the turret. This is awkward. But uh, Rift Herald is making sure that their big brother... This is awkward. Uh, ...does not get to hold the controller anymore. Everyone's here, Cubby. Tempos is going to be the first one to go down, I oh, assume. Vito. But he's got a lot of defensive maneuvers on this Vito. He's very bulky, but not bulky enough. He's already dead. It's two for one so far for Not Academy, as everyone else on the side of Cloud9 is attempting to make their escape. I think they've done it. Okay, Speedo, honestly, he goes down for that ult. The fact that they trade one for two in that situation, I'd say is the best case scenario for C9. Ooh. The fact that that could have been really awkward as they were pinched under that turret. Uh, so good play for Speedo to try and get a trade kill coming out. Um, Everfrost, that, that didn't connect. You can you can say that it's bad. I won't be offended. Um, it has potential. I'm not a fan of it, but it, it does have potential as we do get a replay. Uh, check out Speedo. That's a nice ultimate here. Um, this goes fast. Looking sharp. Yeah, that is very nice. Uh, Wixie, Wixie's able to follow up a little bit there too, but they're and just then you really can see far Tuesday, behind right now. Uh, he landed the E on Speedo, yeah. so he gets to flip across yeah. that. We, I'm Makali. I have two albums. Or whatever. That's definitely what she was saying in that instance. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Listen to me on SoundCloud. Uh, that's something Seraphine would say. Akali's, Akali's too cool for that, I think. Uh, we did get Niles' playlist, by the way. So oh, pretty yeah, excited that's about true. That. It's that's got a lot time. of Halsey on it. Now, Cubby and I are big fans of Halsey. Um, 
she, yes. he actually put her entire first EP on there, and I like it. Wow, that's that, old school. Uh, I, yeah, I'm just going to have to see if it's better than Tenacity's, and then that's how I de <laughs> decide who the better top winner is. As the, <laughs> the two premier carry top winners from this past split of SGC, as now we're, I guess it's PGC, uh, as we decided mm -hmm. to ditch the S. Yeah. It's only one Prudent uh, Grounds. I, I stole the S from my own name. Now my, my okay. name has two S's in it. It is Smacks. Also, Don't tell anyone, fact, though. Um, you know, Proving Ground is actually stolen from it's the training map on the Rift. So, uh, effectively, oh, yeah. Riot's calling this the Training Wheels League, which sounds well, insulting, but it's actually pretty appropriate. Well, you know, Cubby, it's better than it like no that, league at all. That's and true. Um, I, I appreciate Riot for, for putting in that work. As Winston is in the middle of a lot of people. Yeah. Here comes Zazel as well, oh, forcing nice the flash out of Captain Trims. Here comes Speedo trying to knock people up, does not. Wait, land oh, that one down. He has that extra dash. He's trying to take down Apollo. He does it eventually. The shielding's not going to be enough from his lifesteal item. Now Captain Trims is on the run. No flash available. He'll drop two. Now XU. Lots of mobility. Still has flash. Tuesday almost in range of his kunai. Can't quite get there, but four people dead There's are not the Academy. They don't need to kill this guy to win. See that, that I'm all about the emote game. As Yeah, there we go. <laughs> a little bit of a trade going on down as... Uh, check out this bullet time coming out from Apollo Price oh, yeah. himself. Uh, Shrimp's very cute flash get out of this, by the way. That's some nice reaction speed coming on down. Gets the stun, and too. The and a two-man Everfrost into a Ever Frost, speedo. Yeah. Uh, and then Apollo Price just melts everyone. Oh, man. Yeah, he goes down, but I'd say that damage... Uh, you can type words in all chat afterwards. I feel pretty good about that one. Yeah, that's where you that's where you pop the emotes. That's, that's true. Where, you can pop one emote when when you're dead. After that, it's, it locks you out because that'd be really annoying to just have a corpse emoting all the time. But you can do one of them, and the best one to do, obviously, Happy is beat. mastery four. <laughs> I I feel like Apollo has a lot more than mastery four on misfortune. Well, you never know. They've got a lot of accounts. These these high level they players. Do. So um, back when I was not any mastery at all. Back when I was climbing this time last year, I got dumpstered by an Apollo gate lane. Um, I told Apollo about it, and he's like, hey, I don't remember. I'm like, probably. I suck. So <laughs> there's a reason I'm not GM right now. Uh, and don't play this game. There's a reason I'm casting. Uh, yeah. But uh, very good. Very good. Yes. Opal attempting to disengage. Lots of defense again from this Lulu, but oh. look at the bullet time. There's no way to stop that. That's two kills immediately. C9 is just left to watch, and they're going to lose this Baron, too. And I feel like this game, it's it's been a good example of what happens when you pick an Enchantress support and things go bad. Uh, because yep. once Zazel got tempo, he did not let up the pace at all. And what do we... It pretty much, it just means that for the entirety of the game, not Academy team, they have an extra member uh, at all times during the map. Lulu doesn't get to do anything. Uh, as Captain Trims, uh, he does not have Smite, but he is toying around with this as Tuesday is looking to melt him. It's going to work, too, if he wants it. He is going to be committing behind enemy lines completely by himself. The perfect execution is there. Sure, can flip oh. onto Wix. Oh. Okay, he changed targets and just immediately <laughs> killed someone else instead. That's why I can't That's... Wait, Yeah. Oh, the stasis there. Can they tank the turret for Tuesday? The flash, flash out also. No wild card to connect. Now XU's trying to get into the mix. That's a clone there, buddy. Don't want to hit that one. Here comes Zazel. Knocking people up. He's got the taunt. It's in range. They kill Captain Shrimp, Scubby, and XU's limping away. They get the Baron. Not Academy team is just cleaning up everyone. The experience coming through, the skill coming through, the comfort picks only work for game one. It's not Academy team. They're swapping gears and they're taking names this game. Looking to wrap up this event with a 3-1 win in the finals and smacks. I'd say it's what a lot of us were expecting coming in, just given yeah. the experience of this team and the skill. But um, I, I don't want to tie the ball on this one yet, but I think, you know, taking a bigger look, I've been impressed with some of the play that we've seen uh, for Cloud9 Amateur, even though they're, they're going down. And for a younger squad that's very hungry and looking to challenge some of the more veteran teams that we have here uh, in Proving Grounds, a lot of promise showing. I believe the premier and most popular prediction for this game was uh, not Academy 3 owing. I believe our our wise analyst Dimitri Alc Battery Toledo also was one who said that. But 
Cloud9 were able to take a game. And they won the early game of game number one as well, if you remember that. They won so the first 20 definitely minutes. Definitely showing some promise. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It, more than the early game. So X lots of promise. X here. being a highlight player and also Speedo on carries, uh, looking pretty good on this Yone. Camille, uh, not not so much, but there's a few botched executions in there that I don't think are gonna that, that only happens one out of every like twenty games uh, yeah. from players at this level. But um see a shrimps. This is the beginning of the end here, Cubby, as if it wasn't already happening. Tempos already burned down. Again, Here's Kali the got through, guys. I don't know what you were expecting. Now, XU kicking the Golem into the Akali. Still going to go drop. It's 4-0. to zero. Uh, Speedo's on the run. I think the base is just going to get collapsed here, Cubby. I think it's over. Only going to be dropping two games today. Not Academy Team, which I think is one or two more than a lot of people thought they were coming in but they will True. be challenged this year just not in this event looking to tie the bow onto this game a little christmas present new year showdown fifteen hundred dollars going into their pockets winston uh he's not done yet the rest of his go team's done they're taking the base go yone yay shut Big down shutdown. but the base exploded